Hey there, it's me Ilham, and welcome back to the third episode of All Things BSPWM. In today's video, I'll in today's video I'm gonna be covering everything about the basics of customizing or quotation ricing BSPWM. Although this tutorial will work with any other window manager except for one thing which you'll find out later on in this video. The tool that we're gonna be using is called LX Appearance which is available in the Arch repository and can be installed with Pac-Man but I'm gonna install it using the AAUR helper for the sake of avoiding executing a separate command to install LX Appearance and also because there's a theme I prefer which is in the AUR called Nordic Darker so if I just execute this command darker basically it's the Nord theme but more darker Although you could use any other theme if you want, but I just love the North theme. I mean, <laughs> kind of obvious, isn't it? I'm such a Nord junk. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, as it info and as it installs. Also, you can install LX Appearance from the Arch repositories or almost any other distros repositories. Only the theme is from the AUR. Wait, what? It couldn't find Nordic Darker. Wait, what? Are you kidding me? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Got to Wait, what? But over here, I have it installed. Nordic. Darker. Oh, it's Nordic Darker theme. Yeah, I'm dumb. Alright, so it's gonna be Nordic Darker theme. Sorry. <laughs> it's Nordic Darker theme. <laughs> Also, for your information, LX Appearance comes from a lightweight desktop environment called LXDE, but can be used independently with any single desktop environment or window manager, which in our case is BSPWM. And also, we do not have a desktop environment because they are bloated, and we do not want bloatware, do we? <laughs> I mean, who cares? Also, I think y'all have noticed that. I fixed the resolution problem. It was pretty simple, but now it works. Anyway, the packages have finished installing. Let me open LX Appearance and show you around. So this is what LX Appearance looks like, and the first, the first tab that opens is the widget tab, which is basically the theme and font chooser, which in our case the font is Cantrell and the theme at the moment is Relic. But we don't want to use Relay, do we? So let me select Nordic Darker and it looks much better. And hit apply. As you can see, the theme instantly changed after I hit apply. Although for certain programs, you may have to restart them for the themes to apply. And don't worry, you don't have to add Alexa Appearance to BSPWRC or the xinit file. Because all Alexa Appearance does is just edit the GTK config files for you, which is why there is no need to start it as a daemon, you know. Daemons are these, the things that you start with, system CTL, if you're on, if you have system D. The next, the next tab is the color tab, which basically allows you to modify the theme you applied according to your needs and potentially even create your own GTK theme. For example, if I click here, I could just modify these, but I don't want to because I just like the default one. The next tab is the icons theme yeah the next tab is the icons tab which as the name says allows you to change your icon I don't know I didn't install any icons today because almost because every icon theme or almost every icon theme should be available at the gnome looks website or at the AUR the next tab is the mouse cursor tab which as the name says allows you to change how your cursor looks by my opinion Adweta looks the best. I also use Adweta in my default, you know, my default config, which is this, because I just love Adweta. <laughs> the next tab is the font tab, which allows you to enable anti-aliasing and hinting, which are for improving readability at lower resolutions or smaller font sizes. In most cases, though, there is no need to change it. 
the very last tab is the other tab, which basically is the miscellaneous tab and allows you to change icon placements, playing sounds whenever you input something, or enable accessibility in GTK Plus applications. Now, the thing that I said that you're going to find out later on in the video is the border colors of the windows we have open. For example, here I have Alacrity open and the default border color does not match the Nord theme, does it? Also, you can edit Alacrity's config file, which is going to be for a later video, not today. So, let me open let me open uh, BSPWRC and show you around how to change the border color. BSPWRC. Also, let me just remove the stupid mistake I did. Uh, yeah, that was that wasn't the greatest moment of my life. So, below gapless monocle, I'm gonna add this line, which is gonna say BSPC config. I can't if I can't even spell config normal border. Wait, let me zoom in. Let me zoom in. Border color. Hashtag E C E F F four. This is actually a Nord color theme. If I just show you, let me reload BSPWM. Okay. So as you can see, it changed to white. This is for the window we are not focusing on. You know, this is for the this is for the act. This is the active window. This is not. This is for the which means this border is for the inactive window quotation so next up next is going to be for our active window which is going to be bspc config focused border color and the color that we're going to use is hashtag a1 a1z1 you can put any hex by the way, I just use these two hexes because it fits the north theme. Alright, so what this line is that, you know, as I said before, it changes the window border color, which we are not, which we are focusing on. <laughs> well, alright, let me save and exit Vim, and reload BSPWM. The hotkey to reload BSPWM is super all R. And as you can see, the border color has changed. Which is pretty sweet, am I right? <sighs> now, to test the other one. Yeah, there we go. It seems like the active window border color has changed, and also, you know, the other one. The normal one, or aka the one which is not inactive. This isn't active. Anyway, guys, that's basically it for this video. If you enjoyed or learned something, please be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribing. And also be sure to enable notifications to help me grow in the Unix tubing community. And also be sure to comment what you'd like to see in the future regarding this series. The next episode of the series is going to be about display managers and lock screens. Anyway, until the next episode, have a good day or good evening folks, and I'll see you next time.